Hello, I wanted the chance to read Miracle Mud with you. It's a book uh, written by David Kelly. Each summer, my family and I, along with friends, go to Cooperstown, New York for the baseball inductions. And we had a chance to meet David Kelly. And so I wanted to bring this book to you. Miracle Mud, Lena Blackburn and the Secret Mud that Changed Baseball. Lena Blackburn wanted to be a famous baseball player, but instead he discovered mud, baseball mud. His special secret mud changed the game of baseball. Lena didn't set out to find mud. He just wanted to be a great baseball player, but he wasn't. Starting in 1910, Lena played for lots of baseball teams. He played first base, second base, third base, and shortstop. He even pitched in one game. No matter how hard he tried, he wasn't good enough to become a star like Cy Young or Babe Ruth. He wasn't going to be in the Hall of Fame. When his playing days were over, Lena became a coach. One day, an umpire complained to Lena about the baseballs. They were too wet and soggy. The soggy balls were hard for pitchers to throw. They were hard for batters to see, and they were very hard to hit far. The umpire was right. The baseballs were a mess. Brand new baseballs were too shiny and slick, so players soaked them in dirty water. It got rid of the shine, but it also made the balls soggy and wet. Sometimes teams use shoe polish to get rid of the shine. It turned the balls black. Players even rubbed balls with spit and tobacco juice. That made the ball stink. There has to be a better way, Lena said. But where would he look? What would take the shine off the balls without hurting them? The next time Lena was home, he went to an old fishing hole. He lived near a river in New Jersey. Sploot! He stepped into some dark brown mud. It was soft and gooey. Lena's boot stuck in the mud. He slowly pulled it out. Lena had an idea. He reached down and scooped up some of the dark brown mud. It looked smooth and creamy like chocolate pudding, but it felt gritty. Lena took the mud to the ballpark. He rubbed it in some baseballs and let it dry. Then he wiped them with a cloth. The powdered mud came off easily. The shine was gone, and the balls were black, weren't black and dirty. They didn't smell. They weren't even soft. Lena made a batch of muddy balls for his team. The pitcher threw muddy fastballs, curveballs, changeups, and sinkers. The batters hit muddy singles, doubles, triples, and home runs. It worked. The players loved Lena's magic mud. Now they could use brand new baseballs for each game, as long as they were covered in mud first. Lena went back for more mud. He put it into tubs and started selling it. Lots of teams bought Lena Blackburn's baseball rubbing mud. Lena became a mud farmer. He never told anybody where he got the baseball mud. It was a secret. But it was no secret that the mud worked. Baseball teams have been buying tubs of Lena's mud for close to 75 years. That's millions and millions of muddy baseballs. Lena's mud is the only thing that's allowed on major league balls. Players can't use water or spit or shoe polish. Just mud, Lena's mud. Lena Blackburn didn't make it into the Baseball Hall of Fame, but his mud did. In 1969, a tub of his magic mud was put on display at the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, every spring, teams have crisp new uniforms, brand new bats, squeaky clean cleats, and thanks to Lena, lots and lots of mud. What's the secret to a perfect baseball? You just need a little mud. Good luck finding your miracle.
Thank you for sharing the story with me. Miracle Mud by David Kelly.